to family what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to all the newcomers it is your boy jay the sneaker guy coming at y'all today with the highly anticipated sneaker of 2019 it is none other than the air jordan one fearless the unc to chicago or uh, what were they calling them, I guess. Well, that's pretty much the only name that I hear that they call them, but we have those, y'all. Unfortunately, I won't be doing an on feet in this video because the weather just has been crazy in my area, and upon me receiving these shoes, it was actually dark, so uh, I wasn't able to do it. You know, I don't like doing my on feet in the house on carpet. I like doing it on a flat surface, and the flat surfaces that I do have in my house, they don't have good lighting in those areas, so I'm gonna get another separate video out to you guys of strictly just an on feet. So you guys wait for that, it'll probably be on Sunday, but I just wanna get you guys my opinion and show you a look at these shoes because they are slated to release this Saturday, which is November 2nd. And um, good luck to all those who are trying to get them, man. Hopefully everybody get that W who wants them. And um, yeah, um, so let's go ahead and get to this review, y'all. We got, bam, we got the Air Jordan 1 box here. It's upside down and it is a reverse uh, Jordan 1 box. As you see right here, I have another pair of Air Jordan 1 Fearless. This is actually the women's colorway. I also had that review coming to you guys, so y'all was, or not will, but y'all stay tuned for that. And um, it'll be coming here shortly. But as I was saying, you do have that reverse Nike box, uh, red predominantly, and you have your hits of black. And, uh, you know, nothing different, just the reverse of a regular Air Jordan 1 box. But I do have the Jordan 1 UNC's, well, Obsidian's here with me and I also have the igloo the women's exclusive here with me because I'm gonna show you guys as, as far as the color blocking on them because they both are kind of a UNC blue I'm gonna show you guys what what exact color blue this is because it is neither of these two shoes here but it's probably closer to the obsidians but I'll show you guys that here shortly but anyway y'all back to the box y'all reverse Jordan 1 box on your size tagging on this one this one I did not get my actual size 9 but this 8.5 does work you know I could wear this 8.5 but I'm still going after my size 9 on um, Saturday so we see how that works if I get a 9 cool I'll have my 9 if not 8.5 works perfectly so but size tag on this one reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Fearless not really Air Jordan but AJ1 you know you know what it is but Eight and a half, as I said, the color blocking on it is white, black, university blue, and they do retail for 160. So we hear that these pricing prices of these Jordan ones are supposed to be going up in 2020, y'all. So enjoy it while it's here. So uh, yeah, man. Um, go ahead and show y'all the shoe real quick. Bang! We got the Air Jordan One Fearless. And as I said, these are releasing this Saturday, $160, uh, November 2nd. Quick 360 look at them. We're about to get into the review, but let me go ahead and give you guys this quick comparison. This is to the uh, the women's exclusive, the Igloos. As you can see the color, it is, it is off big time. This is a way, way lighter blue on the Igloos. It's almost like a sky blue on your Igloos. It is not really a, a UNC blue. As you can see the difference right there but as I was saying you know uh show y'all both them shoes right there in that picture but as I was saying your obsidians have a closer closer look of blue than uh the obsidian well the uh blue chills as you can see it's a little bit you know it's it's about almost spot on it might be pretty much practically the same if this had patent leather over it, but you can see it's a pretty close, pretty close uh, blue right there. So just an idea of what the blue is like on these shoes. There you go. Quick look. And uh, yeah, that's that. But let's go ahead and talk about the topic at hand, y'all. These Air Jordan 1 Fearlesses. We'll go ahead and start with this shoe right here because they do, they do come with some extra laces. And when I do do my own feet, y'all, you know I, I switch out all the laces and show y'all how they look. But they do come with a three set of laces. Uh, four, if you're going to count what's in it, it comes with your black pre-laced. You have your white, red, and your UNC blue. So four laces total that come with the shoe. And uh, that, that's it. You know, I don't think you need any more. But yeah, that's all the laces that come with it. But uh, to the shoe, y'all, bam. All right. You have this hang tag. We'll start with this. That comes with the shoe it reads limits like fears are often just an illusion 
and you got Michael Jordan's signature under that. And this is a Wings logo shape. On the other side, it says Fear with that line through it. You have that. That's it for the hang tag. Moving on to the bottom of the shoe, y'all. The outsole. You got that red outsole, Jordan 1 outsole. Nothing different. And moving up from that, you have a white midsole. This does not have cell on it. I don't think that these shoes will look good at all with any type of cell. So I'm good. I ain't mad at this white, this uh, pure white color we have. So you have that pure white midsole. Moving up from that, start with the back, y'all. You have this UNC blue on your back half of the shoe. Basically, from the mid all the way to the back is your full UNC. Y'all can see you have your Jordan Wing logo right there. That's pretty dope how they have it in there. You got that. Moving on, y'all, you have a black Nike swoosh. And that is on both sides, same color, no flip-flop colors on them. So you basically have your whole black half, as I said, is universe or UNC blue. And moving up to the front, y'all, you have like this candy apple red. It is pretty much the same red as you had on those Jordan 9s that recently released. Same red. Uh, you got that red that's going up your uh, front half of the shoe and you do have your white toe box and it does have a, a patent leather also i thought this was leather when i first seen it in the pictures and stuff but it does have a slight coat of patent leather over the toe box on these but moving on from that you do have your black nylon tongue jordan one tongue you got your nike air logo and it is written in red white background moving on from that shoe tree uh slim type shoe tree what is this eight through eight and a half and uh looking at the inside of the shoe you got your fear insole and it reads that that same limits like fears are often just an illusion inside of here and uh moving on from that y'all let's look at the size tag it got a qr style code on it it does have a qr code uh i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show it to y'all but yeah y'all can see it if you can all right there now I want to pause it, check it out. All right, but these were manufactured from, what is that, April of this year through June. So two month production, April through June on these. And uh, they dope, man. These are dope shoes, y'all. I mean, I would recommend y'all going after them, get a pair, man, because they're, they're going to be shoes that I feel like if you miss out on them, sleep on them, y'all going to be like, damn. Y'all going to see them on somebody's feet and be like, damn, I shouldn't have slept on those. They are tough, man. They, they dope in hand. So I would recommend y'all go after a pair of these if, if you can get them. Get them, why not, man? If y'all don't like them in hand, which I think that you you will, but you know, everybody got different tastes. But if y'all don't like them, y'all can always flip them because these will have some good value to them. Probably not when they first drop, but a month, two months, a little bit down the line, these are gonna have some good value to them. So I wouldn't sleep, man. But I'm gonna try to go ahead and get a size nine in them. If I don't get that nine, as I said, I ain't tripping because uh, I could wear eight and a half, but I prefer that nine just to have a little bit more room. But the eight and a half, it works. But overall, it's a dope shoe, man. I'm looking for this box again because I didn't show y'all inside of the box. Let me show y'all that real quick. Inside of the box, you do have that limits like fierce paper it does have that shoe paper and it does have that quote written all throughout that box lid did have a lot number on it where is that right there it does have a lot number on the box top of the lid and uh it did come with a card also i didn't show y'all and um yeah also white shoe paper too so make sure yours has both both papers but it does come with a card that has that fear with the line through it and it does have that same quote on it so limits like fears are often just an illusion but yes that does it for the review y'all the review of them as i said i apologize i wasn't able to do the on um, feet because the, the weather has been bad in my area and um it's been dark and i don't like doing it inside y'all already know i already told y'all but i do have it coming for y'all so y'all stay tuned for that and it's gonna be a dope one man i promise i'm gonna make it up for y'all but y'all stay tuned for that uh review we're well, not review that on feet and um hopefully y'all the sneaker guys will bless everybody Hopefully everybody will get a pair. So y'all stay tuned for the, the on feet. It's coming soon as well as the women's uh, fearless review and on feet. Stay tuned for that. But your boy Jay Sneak guys checking out until my next video. Thank y'all for watching as usual. Y'all stay blessed, man. I'm going to my next one. Peace.